Hi and welcome, I'm Jacqueline. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make an epic charcuterie board that will impress all of your guests. So when making a charcuterie board, you wanna gather all the ingredients that you wanna put onto your board first. That is broken down into five different parts. You wanna gather all your cured meats, your cheeses ranging from soft to hard, your fresh fruit, the crackers that you wanna use, along with all the accoutrements that you wanna to top your board with to make it extra yummy. So when it comes to the board that you'll use, you can really use anything that you have at home, ranging from a baking sheet to a serving platter or a fancy charcuterie board. I also like to use small bowls that will go on the charcuterie board for some of the smaller items, along with some mini utensils that will be helpful for serving. So here you can see I've gathered all my cured meats and cheeses. For cheeses, I have some soft cheeses like brie and goat cheese. I also have a garlic and herb spreadable. I had manchego, some gouda and pepper jack cubes. Moving on to the cured meats, I have a selection of salamis and also some prosciutto. When it comes to your fresh fruit, the best thing to do is buy fruits that are in season because they'll be the freshest. I love to always have red seedless grapes, the green grapes, because I feel like it adds more color and it looks prettier on your board. I also love to top at the very end with blueberries, some blackberries, raspberries, and strawberries. So the last thing we'll be adding to the board will be our crackers to pair with our cheeses and any extra yummy accoutrements that you want to add. I personally love to add something sweet and salty. The very first thing I like to do is place my grapes onto the board because they are one of the larger items and I like to separate them out to make them look appealing. One of the next steps is to cut up the cheeses that will be placed onto the board. When it comes to the Manchego cheese, there's two different ways I like to style it for my board. One is simply just cut into triangles and setting on top of each other like a deck of cards. The second way is also cut into triangles but then stacked in an alternating fashion. Once I have the grapes placed and the cheese is cut, I like to add the cheeses to the board. One of my favorite ways to style the prosciutto is actually just to roll it and place it on the board. And then I'll end up just stacking more pieces. Another way you can use prosciutto on your board to give your board a little more texture is to roll it back and forth like a fan to give a little bit more of that textured look. When it comes to styling the salami, there's lots of different ways you can do it. If you just wanna lay it on the board and make it easy, or some people like to fold it in half, fold it in half a second time, make it into a tulip and give the board also some more texture. A second way for styling salami can also be just, especially for some of the larger pieces, just to fold in half and then stack on the board. Once I have all the cheeses placed on the board where I like them, I like to add in the bowls of any extra goodies I'm gonna have so I can see the placement before I add in the rest of the meat or any crackers. There's a variety of crackers you can choose from when making your board. It's really just a personal preference, but one of my very favorites are these oat cake crackers. They're always a hit. Once I have the bowls where I like them, I start to add in all the extra crackers and the meats. Now that I have everything on my charcuterie board, I'm gonna take time just to fill in the small spaces that's left in between some of the items. I have gone ahead now and added in all the extra spaces for the final product. Also one last thing, a little pro tip is to cut some of the cheeses because guests don't always like to start the cutting process. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it looks like a lot, but it really is a fun and creative process and I hope you enjoy it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe below. Thank you.